Significant changes could be on the way for the state agency tasked with keeping Hoosier children safe. Today, a DCS committee offered a slew of recommendations, but as Call 6 investigator Kara Ketty found out, implementing those changes could be easier said than done. Kara? That's right, Raphael. Today was the final day for the DCS study committee. A group of lawmakers, judges, and other child advocates convened to make the Department of Child Services better. Their biggest task? Improving the state's child abuse hotline, which centralized in Indianapolis in 2010. As we've told you in our Call 6 investigations, the hotline has been plagued with problems like high staff turnover and long hold times. The DCS hotline in Indianapolis is stop number one if you want to report child abuse or neglect. But many have complained it takes away input from local offices who know families best. Tuesday, a group of lawmakers vowed to make changes. With regards to the hotline. The DCS uh, interim so study committee to... came up with a plan to add 50 intake specialists and 10 supervisors to the hotline. The goal? To reduce turnover and decrease hold times. The committee also voted to add 96 family case managers and supervisors to the field. This would result in roughly 15,000 more assessments a year. Under the new plan, local county offices will have input into whether an abuse or neglect report is investigated. As the Call 6 investigators have reported, critics argue the current system of screening out abuse and neglect calls to the hotline is inefficient. The estimated price tag for all these changes? Nine million dollars. Are you concerned at all about getting that funded? Well, you know, certainly it's going to be interesting. We're going to have to go talk with uh, Representative Brown, and and uh, hopefully we have the funds uh, to do that. DCS Director John Ryan says the agency can't even start hiring until April when the legislature wraps. That's assuming lawmakers vote in favor of the proposal. We have to have <clears throat> the appropriation to hire. I mean, we have to have the you have to have the funds to do that, and we won't be able to do that until. Uh, the, the legislature approves our budget. The committee also approved legislation aimed at improving state and local child fatality review teams. They also voted to create a DCS oversight committee, an idea child advocates say is a good one. The oversight committee I think will be important to keep the work going and have a forum where people can work together and collaborate on issues. Now, DCS points out they are already making changes, including adding nearly 200 family case managers and supervisors to help combat turnover. Those hires have already been budgeted for, but as for the recommendations offered today, it will be about five months before we know if the legislature will give those the green light. Kara Kenny, RTV6.